I mean, Motorhead's music has had quite a lot of interesting applications. How about you, Austin? Yes, my word. God, my... Right, yeah. One of them was taking a kid out of a coma? No, that was us talking on the tape. Yeah, um... He wasn't there. I was. No, you were. Oh, that was the second one, then. The second one? Oh. Right. That's right, yeah. 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 And a lady turned up in our office in London said that her son was in a coma, I don't know for whatever reason, and uh, he was a big Motorhead fan. So we um, we got a, we just said on a cassette, we said who we were and the, the guy's name and come on, wake up and this business and that and stuff. And apparently uh, she played it to him and he woke up and she came over to London to thank us. That's right. That's totally incredible. Yeah. <laughs> Lemmy, your first band, The Rocking Vickers, played in Yugoslav... The first band. But you did play in The Rocking Vickers, one of your bands, did a song called I Go Ape. No, I wasn't on that. Oh, you weren't on that one. But you did play in Yugoslavia in 1965? That's right. Went and finished National Costume, if I'm correct? Yes. And you had dinner with Tito. Yeah. What do you think about the situation that's going on in Kosovo right now? It's a mess. What do you think of it? This plain and simple mess. Any, had you played there before in any of the towns that stuff's been happening? Yeah, Belgrade? Kosovo, no, we never played there. We played in Belgrade. Lemmy, do you have a special tailor? Yes. That makes your pants? Yes. Do you remember being in Vancouver a few years ago and actually splitting your pants and somebody actually having to go out and buy you some pants? No. When you go on tour, do you bring several pairs of... Does Lemmy bring several pairs of pants, Phil? Yes, but they don't look anything like yours. His, Lemmy recently had his 50th birthday party, Phil. That seemed to be a very interesting event, wasn't it? It was wonderful, yeah. The uh, Metallica came down and played a 45-minute set of Motorhead material dressed as Lemmy's. James Hetfield looked more like Lemmy than actual Lemmy does. And it was jam-packed, and uh, you, you couldn't even get into the bathroom in the, in the main band's toilet. It was a great evening. And Madonna sent you a note, Lemmy? Yeah. That's excellent. You know, congratulations on the 20 years of rock in here. We really appreciate that. 24. Your favorite backstage food? Food? Um, hard cider. Lemmy? Bourbon. What, uh, what about Mickey? What about Mickey? What's his favorite backstage food? He oh, likes Boy George. <laughs> Lemmy, do you still drink a whiskey a day? Are you drinking whiskey right now? A uh, whiskey. Sorry, one whiskey a day. A bottle. One bottle of whiskey a day, while... At least. What do you think you were created for? Out of your seat, lying in the heat. Do the nasty monkey mama stop your beat. Born to raise hell, born to raise hell. We know how to do it and we do it real well. Born to raise hell. Born Any special words for Canada at all? Lemmy of Motorhead or Phil of Motorhead? Where'd you get that hat? I got, I, actually my mom brought it back from Scotland. No, no, I don't want it. Oh, you don't want it? Okay. Keep on rocking the free world, Phil and Lemmy of Motorhead. Thank you very much. And In a strange way, I've enjoyed this little interview. Yeah, it's, it's offset fashion. And do, do the loot do. Do, do. Wap-ba-ba-loo-ba-ba-ba-bam-boom. I don't know what he said, I'm deaf. I know.